Hello, it's Theo from Theo's Tech Tips, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to parse a CSV file in Java. Let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is to make a new code project. We want to go to our pom.xml file, and we want to add a new tag called dependencies. And inside of this dependencies tag, we want to add the OpenCSV dependency. And then we want to click on this Maven refresh button. So now that we have OpenCSV installed, we need to make our CSV file. To do that, let's make a new file called demo.csv. And we're going to put that in the resources folder. So now we're going to go into our main Java file. And the first thing we need to do is to make a new file reader with that file path. So we just need to go file reader file reader equals new file reader and inside we need to put the full path to our csv file so mine is going to be users theo idea projects yt java csv demo source main resources demo.csv and the file reader constructor throws an exception so we need to add that to our signature so now that we've done that the next thing we need to do is to make our OpenCSV reader to actually read the file from the file reader. So we just need to go CSV reader, CSV reader equals new CSV reader, and we just need to pass in our file reader. And this is going to prepare our CSV file for reading. So the next thing you need to do is to make a new class, and that is going to contain all of our attributes that we are expecting in our CSV file. And this is called a model. So you need to just make a new class called CSV model. And we're just going to add a few variables that are the attributes for our CSV file. So you want to go private string name. And after every attribute, we need to annotate it with at CSV bind by name. And this tells OpenCSV what column to bind to the attribute. So you just need to add column. And our column name is going to be name. And we want this to be a required field, so we're just going to set required to true. So the next field we're going to do is age, and this is going to be an integer. So we're just going to go private integer age, and we're also going to annotate it with CSV bind by name. We're going to set the column to age, and if we don't want it to be a required, the default value is false, so you can just leave it blank. And the nice thing about this being a normal Java object is that we can have as many types as we want. So I'm just going to make an enum class for our next property. I'm going to call it interest, and I'm going to add reading and sports. So now we can go back to CSV model, and we're going to make our last column, and the type is going to be interest, interest, and we're going to annotate it with CSV bind by name, column, interest, and set that to required. So now that we've added all of our fields, we're just going to add a constructor with all the properties, and we're also going to add our getters and setters. And we also need to make sure that OpenCSV can have basic instantiation of our object, so we're just going to make an empty constructor. So now we can go back into our main file, and the next thing you want to do is to actually parse our CSV data into Java objects. And the next thing you want to do is to actually parse our CSV data into the Java object that we just created. So to do this, OpenCSV actually has a built-in class that we can use called bean to csv and the purpose is to parse our CSV data into a list of our bean. So this is going to return an array list of CSV model, and I'm just going to call it beans. And this is going to return an array list, so you just need to go array list csv model beans equals new array list and inside of this array list we're going to make a new csv to bean builder and we're going to pass in csv model and we're also going to pass in our csv reader and because this is a builder we can just keep adding more and more options onto it so i'm going to go dot with type csv model dot class and i'm also going to go dot with ignore a leading white space and i'm going to set that to true and then we want to build our builder, so I'm going to go dot build, so I'm going to go dot stream, and then we want to convert our output to a list, so I'm going to go dot to list. So now that we have our list of beans, we can just make a loop, so for CSV model, model, in beans, I'm just going to print all of the attributes of the CSV. So first we're going to make a separator, and then we want to print the model.get name and then we want to print 
model.getAge. And then we want to print model.getInterest. And now we're done. So now let's go to our CSV file and populate it with data. So I'm just going to go name, age, and interest. I'm going to set the name to Bob, age 11, and interest sports. Remember to do all capitals because it's an enum. And now let's do Joe, 12, and set the interest to reading. And now let's set it to Lily. And we're going to purposely ignore the age header. And we'll set the interest to reading. So now we can test it. So now let's just go to run and run main. And if it worked, you should see our CSV data in the console like this. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. I'm Theo from Theo's Tech Tips, and I'll see you next time. Bye.